also known as Carrot Head. At the age of 15, a friend of mine named Michael took me to hang out. So the way how we made money, collecting extortion, the money was coming in so good that I bought myself a nice chain, a 24 karat chain, showing it off, being proud of it. And uh, we were hanging out in the parks all the time, knowing girls, having fun, playing handball. And a couple of the girls who knew me came up to me and said to me, you know, Rob, there are canal boys over here. They said they're going to take your chain from you. I was like, what? Who's going to take my chain from me? They go, yeah, the guy's name is Uncle Sam. He's going to take your chain from you. So I said, okay, no problem. Talked to my friend Mike, who always carried a 38, five shot. I said, Mike, I have a problem. We got to handle something. Somebody's going to try to take my chain. And his name is Uncle Sam. He's from Canal Boys. Michael was like, let's go right now. I said, we're going to go get him tomorrow. I know where he is tomorrow at the diner around 9 o'clock in the morning. Mike goes, okay, no problem. We'll go there. Once we get there, 9 o'clock in the morning, sitting on the booth with three canal boys and this guy named Uncle Sam. So Mike and myself walk in and we look down on him. This was really funny. Uncle Sam stand up, stood up like he was like 5'3". I was like, this is a joke. This guy's going to want to take my chain. And Michael was like, yo, do you have a problem with my, my brother over here? He showed him the gun. And the guy, Uncle Sam sat down and said, yeah, there's no problem with him. Michael was like, I didn't think there was a problem. The guy was, Uncle Sam was like, no problem. There's no problem. Okay, no problem. You sure about that? Yes, no problem. I'm sorry about that, Carrot Head. I'm sorry about that, Mike. And if there's ever a problem with Canal Boys, let me know. We start hanging out in the park again. Days go by, a week goes by. Canal Boys, Uncle Sam starts friend, uh, friending us. And he says, you know, Carrot Head, we're kind of light on cash. Would you like to do a, a robbery? I said, sure. And then he goes, yeah, let's do a robbery in Chinatown. Michael was like, let's do it tonight. Michael is a guy, if you say something, you better do it. No, none of this next week or next next three days or whatever. If you say it, we're going to go do it. Go rob this grocery store in uh, Chinatown. Uncle Sam and his two friends. So we went down that night. Drove by the grocery store. Once when they were ready to close almost, we spun around the block, dropped off two of the guys. We went back around near the store to position ourselves. They were closed. They were gone. Whether they saw us driving around the block, whether they were suspicious, or somebody came and picked them up, it was a real quick thing. And it was, that was it. There was no robbery that night for that store. They were so lucky. And then we were so upset, we went out. We went to rob people on the streets, people coming out of the gambling house, just to make sure that we did not go there to do nothing. But we did not rob the ladies, we did not rob the old ladies, and we did not rob the elderlies. Only the guys coming out of the gambling houses. Because the money we made, we were expecting more. But as time went on, we were supposed to do more robberies, but it never happened because we had a falling out. Why? Because we were supposed to do a robbery and Big Chicken's, something happened to Big Chicken's brother and we did not do the robbery that night. So it was canceled. Uncle Sam was mad at us, which we did not appreciate. So we split the, f the friendship right there. They were never called BTK when we knew him. The time when we knew him, they were called Canal Boys. Okay, the reason why we did not do that second robbery 
where Uncle Sam was Big Chicken's brother. He got arrested for murder and he was sentenced and he spent 21 years in jail. At that time, he had just got sentenced and it was so sad for everybody. Nobody was happy. It was some, something that you not want to be in the mood to do. And Uncle Sam was very upset about it, that we did not do what we had to do that day. But our minds were not into it. When you have your brother's brother in jail, you're not in the mood to do anything. You're just heartbroken. So we were not in the mood to do anything that night. And Uncle Sam felt disrespected. And from there on in, that's when our friendship ended. There was bad taste in each other after that day.